Hello friends, my name is Sarang. So in this video, we'll understand how to develop the reactive gRPC application using Spring Boot. On my channel, I have uh, multiple videos on gRPC. So this is the playlist. Uh, you can always have a look uh, to understand about the gRPC. And uh, if you're just starting with the gRPC, I would recommend you to watch this first video where I have showed uh, how to develop gRPC microservices using Spring Boot and it's from scratch implementation. So this video will give you a good understanding about gRPC with uh, Spring Boot. So I have also linked a GitHub repo uh, in this in this video. So you can always have a look at the uh, repo and get a good understanding on the code that I have developed in this video. And the repo name is gRPC with Spring Boot. So in that video, I've used uh, this proto file where I had this four RPC types, uh, unary, st server streaming, client streaming, and the bi-direction streaming. So, uh, so if you understand what's the difference between the non-reactive and the reactive gRPC is that uh, in the non-reactive applications, uh, we we developed uh, the the stub which are react which are non-reactive. Okay, in the reactive application, we'll generate a stub which are reactive. Okay, so for example, if I if I use this proto file, okay, and if I generate the uh, non-reactive stubs, this is how the method of signature would be. So I had here get author uh, get books by author so this is unary and this is server streaming so the method signature of those RPT, rpc type would be get author author will be a request and the stream observer will be one of the uh, arguments in this method signature so here if you see that this is non-reactive method signature it doesn't have a reactor saying mono and flux it doesn't have uh, mono and flux in the method signature that means it's a non-reactive uh, 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 signature of uh, grpc service and also get book by author also has author and the stream observer and this uh, using stream observer we used to uh, send back uh, the response to the client and uh, we we don't have a mono or flux here to uh, to, to to interact with or to send a, re a response back to the client so it is all non reactive right for for also the client streaming we are using stream observer to send back uh, the response to the client and the by direction also we don't have uh, the reactive method signature it's all non reactive right so generate the uh, reactive signature or to generate the reactive stub we have to add a plugin which would uh, help us to um, to generate the reactive uh, services uh, using that we will uh, uh, we will just extend those uh, services created by the stub and those will be reactive and then we will override each rpc methods uh, that we have written in the uh, proto file okay so again if you don't understand what are the proto files and what is this um, the grpc service annotations and everything i would recommend you to just watch this video and then uh, you will uh, able to understand what are the what are the stubs, how to generate stubs, uh, the plugins, and also right. So let's go to the IntelliJ. I have uh, created a project with the name Reactive GRPC Demo. So in the Palm XML, I have uh, so it's a Spring Boot project. In this Palm XML, I have a reactor, I have a GRPC server dependency, I have a Salesforce service lib dependency. So this particular dependency will help us to generate the reactive stubs. Okay, and this is the extensions and the plugin. Uh, we use the protobuf main plugin to generate this stub and if you don't add this proto c plugin uh, which is a plugin of uh, com salesforce service lib, service lib has artifact id reactive grpc if you're not adding this proto c plugin uh, then the uh, the stub would be generated non reactive okay if you add this proto c plugin uh, the the stubs would be reactive okay so let's uh, let's look at that so i have a proto file which the name schema.proto so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this two uh, RPC types, unary and the server streaming here. Okay. Now I'll go to the terminal. I will run Maven clean compile. Okay. So the stub would have been generated in the target folder. So if I just have a look at the stub in the proto buff. So here I have got uh, what one uh, one class with the name reactor book author service grpc. So we have to import the or we have to override the methods of uh, of this particular class, and uh, then uh, you will have the method signature of uh, of a reactive services. So the method signature generated by this class are reactive. So I will show you. As you can see here, it's a, it's a, the the author is wrapped within mono right for get author and for also get author by book 
the the uh, the books are wrapped with flux okay because it's a server streaming so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna send one author, one author and in the response we'll send flux of books okay so as you can see the steps got generated in a reactive manner okay so what you have to do is you have to go to your your service class so i'll create one i'll write book author reactive service okay and here i will annotate with the grpc service and extend the class of reactive grpc dot uh, impl base okay now if i try to override the methods i will only override the methods which says that uh, which has a mono okay so i'll pick this one and also pick the the other one which is just hang on for a second this and this this two methods i will overwrite okay so let's see what are the method signature so for get author i have a method signature where i will get author and i will respond i will respond back with the mono of author and for author for 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 get books by author it's a server streaming i will get uh, one request from the uh, client with the with the object author and i will respond with the multiple books okay because it's uh, it's wrapped with flux and also i have multiple uh, methods got generated so let's have a look override methods okay so this one and i will also select this too okay so the four the, the the four methods got generated for the same methods get author we have mono of author in the written type and mono of author in the request type and here it is just author so it's up to you which uh, methods you want to implement okay this particular uh, plugin uh, in the dependency if you can see here in the plugin proto c it has generated uh, two methods uh, for two methods right for for for, for each uh, for each rpc type that is get author and get other books here so it's up to you which methods you want to override here so if you see here i have uh, just two rpc types mentioned here and for that i got two uh, methods for each rpc type and if you just compare with uh, uh, with the with the non reactive application you see here there is no mono here it is a steam observer so now you would have understood that with the reactive we get a written type and the uh, and also the input in a in a reactive manner so I will remove this particular uh, implementation and I will start with implementing this get author which is a unary type and I will get mono of author and, and I have to uh, return uh, the author which uh, the client would send in the request of uh, the client would send a author ID and I have to return that particular author so for that I have to also uh, have a DB right so I have a temp DB created here so I will just uncomment this one okay so uh, i'm not uh, gonna uh, integ integrate the any 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 database here but i just have a method which will give a list of author and the other method which will give me a list of book okay so here what i'm gonna do is uh, the the user would send me an author id uh, in this particular mono of author i will return the mono of author in the uh, response so i will write return i'll write request dot uh, i'll write map author dot get author id and then i will write map again here i will get uh, author id and i will input the db i'll get get author from temp db and it, since it's a list so i can stream it i will first filter to get the author id which the user is expecting me ex expecting from us so so dot get author equal equal to author id and i will write find first if that is the, the author is not present then we will um, throw the exception and the exception needs a throwable of exception supplier so i will write supplier for here new status exception status dot not found with description write author not found in db that's it so i've created one uh, one method which is reactive okay 
and also I will also implement this so here I will get uh, again the author ID and I have to respond back with uh, with the the author that is linked with the books so if you go to this uh, particular method I will get a list of books and each books uh, would have an author ID linked with it so if I send one author, uh, one as author ID I will I have to get these two books okay so I will also implement this method so I'll write return request dot map author get author id and here i will first find the author so again the same thing author id db dot get books from temp okay i will stream it i will filter it and here i will get an author and i'll write author dot get author id should be equal to the author id okay so here i have to convert this into flat map mini and i will convert this into flux from my triple but here i will get a mono of stream book so let's convert to a list so i'll write collect to list okay yeah so i think we have uh, completed the implementation of two rpc methods so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke these two methods. So I will use the postman to invoke this method. So first I will start the application. So see the application got started on 9090. Uh, I will also go back to the dependency and make sure that I don't have any web dependency here. I just have one gRPC server dependency. So uh, you can you can just remove this reactor core and you can uh, always add the webflux dependency here if you want uh, the uh, if you want to expose few rest endpoints you can always add a webflux here uh, which would in which would have a reactor cone in it but I don't want webflux so I've removed web, uh, I've added this particular reactor core. Okay so I think this makes sense and now our application also got started so I will go to the postman I will create a gRPC request and here I will import a proto file of my application I'll click next and I'll import as an API so this will read my uh, proto file and it will uh, show me the two RPC methods that I have in the proto file also I have to give the URL so I will write localhost 9090 okay and I will select get author here I will go to the message here you can write your uh, your request so it has given me an example message so actually in the get author I just need author ID so I will remove all the other properties from here and I will send author ID as one I'll invoke I'll got the author ID in the response as Charles Dickens is the author ID linked with uh, is linked with the author ID one, so let's go to the DB and let's see author ID one is the Charles Dickens. So yeah, so whatever we have implemented is working as expected. So now let's call uh, the other so other RPC type that is good uh, get books by author. So let's go back to the postman. I'll change the method here. Again, I will write author ID one. I should get multiple books. So I got uh the two books here which are linked with author id one so let's go to the db and let's have a look so in the author one it's it's linked with oliver twist and also a christmas coral carol so if you just check in the response we have oliver twist and the christmas carol yeah so we got the expected response back okay since it's a server streaming so it has given uh, this kind of arrow to just uh, see that we got multiple response in a streaming way right so hope you understood so the main the main thing that i wanted to explain here is we can have a reactive signature in the grpc as well you just have to add the right plugin that would generate the uh, reactive services for you in a spring boot okay i hope you understood about this uh, reactive grpc with spring boot and yeah thank you so much and don't forget to like share and subscribe if you're new to the channel do give a subscribe on this channel and uh, thank you so much have a great day